Hey guys, this is Magical Lady Duchess, and today I'm going to do a video on what is the law of attraction. Um, let me just say this first of all. I appreciate everybody that um, follows me on YouTube, that have contacted me, that leave messages, um, that comment on my post. I really appreciate you guys because I know that you don't have to do it. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos and being a willing participant, um, and doing some of the exercises and trying some of the spell casting for those who have, um, scheduled readings with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the work. Um, I know sometimes I can be kind of, slow, I guess, sometimes about responding and stuff like that. And I apologize for that. But life definitely happens. And I always get back with everyone. Um, I try to respond to everyone accordingly. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. And I appreciate all your time and effort and everything um, that you do with me and spend time with me. And trust me to do your bidding for you, so to speak. Um, I just wanted to say that. So on to the video of what is the law of attraction. Opening up your eyes to like a world of endless possibilities. Um, in magic, in witchcraft, or whatever you want to call it, that is the main thing that you are doing. You are using the law of attraction to get you or to, yeah, to get you the goals of what you're wanting to succeed in. Simply put, the law of attraction is really the ability to attract our lives to whatever we, we're focusing on. So, example, if love is what you're focusing on, then you need to put that out there with the law of attraction. It's so funny to me that so many people say that they want love, but they don't really do any workings to create love into their life. Um, if we, if it's, it's really believed that regardless of whatever age or nationality or religious belief, we are all susceptible to the laws which govern the universe. One, which being is the law of attraction. Uh, law of attraction uses the power of the mind to translate whatever is in our thoughts into a manifested reality, materializing them into a reality intenting them into a reality, manifesting them into a reality. A lot of times, a lot of y'all are not getting what you want because you can't control your thoughts to focus on one thing at one time. Yes, yes. You want love, you want success, you want abundance, you want riches, you want all these things, but yet you do nothing to really get them. You do nothing to really focus your energy on them. One little thing happens and it throws you completely off what you were supposed to be doing. And then you wonder why you're not getting the results that you want. You're not using the law of attraction to bind what you want into your reality. That is essential to living. That is essential to magic. That is essential to witchcraft. It is essential to everything. The law of attraction. If all you think is negativity, if all you think is something that's not positive, what in the hell do you think you're going to get? Right? Right. So this is why the universe is in infinitely a beautiful place because it uses the law of attraction to dictate whatever that can be imagined and held in the mind's eye. It is achievable if you take action on to plan where you want to go with it. That is it. There, that, that is the secret. The law of attraction. Memorization, intent, manifestation, they all work together to get you the goal that you want. The law of attraction is one of the life's biggest mysteries. Very few people are fully aware of how the impact of the law of attraction, how it has an effect on their day in life. If you start off in the morning time and one thing happens and you was like, here we go. My whole day is going to be like this. So what do you expect? Your whole day is going to be just like what you said it was going to be. It's going to be a manifested day of bullshit because you've put that out there. If you say today is going to be a great day, something fabulous is going to happen, something unexpected, I'm not looking for it, it's going to happen, I'm open to the universe, I'm open to receiving it, bam, what do you think that you're going to get? Right. So unfortunately, with so many of us that are blind to the potential that is locked deep within us, it's all too easy to leave your thoughts and emotions unchecked, sending out the wrong thoughts, attracting more unwanted emotions and events into your life. Having said this, 
Discovering the law of attraction <clears throat> is at work within your life and should be a great cause for celebration because it's not too late. It's never too late. Listen to me. It's never too late to use the law of attraction. Okay. Once the power of the attraction have been understood by you, it's no longer a secret and you've learned how to effectively apply these things to your everyday life. You will enjoy your future because you're going to create it. I don't care what you have been through. I don't care what anybody has told you because a lot of times the negative thoughts that you have in your mind is stuff that other people have implanted in you. And you have manifested those seeds. You have grew them into where you are now. And that's not really fair because those were not your thoughts. Those are someone else's thoughts. Example, if I let what people say about me, about my weight, about my skin complexion, about how I wear my hair. If I allowed people to dictate how I felt about myself, then I wouldn't be where I am now. I never fit in. I never blended. I never belonged. I'm a big girl. This is who I am. I accept it. I own it. I am excited about it. And nobody can tear me down. People will try to speak negative over your life. People will plant these seeds. And if they plant them so deep and they're so indebted inside that you can't pay that debt. So what you do is you manifest it over and over again. You wonder why you can't be happy. You wonder why you get to a point in your life and you're like stuck and you can't move forward. Or you're stuck in your thoughts and you have to consistently keep starting over. Those are not your thoughts. They're not. And nobody should have the power to make you feel bad about you. But we do that because we're still learning and figuring out ourselves. A lot of the times this happened, you know, when we were younger. But let me tell you something. The immortal Buddha said one thing that I can remember. He wanted this to be known. What you become is what you have thought. What you become is what you have thought. It's a belief that is, diff is deeply in intric intricate part of the law of attraction. With the spread of this concept, karma is a belief that comes out of the law of attraction. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Um, is the law of attraction real? It's as real as you make it. Once we come to understand the astounding possibilities that life has to offer us, we can also come to realize that we're like artists. We're creating pictures of our intended life and then making choices and taking actions that will realize what we have envisioned. So what if you don't like the picture? Your life is going bad. You lost your job. Your man has left you. Um, you just can't seem to get everything right. Somebody had, had put a curse on you. You must be hexed. No, you don't like the picture, change it. Life is a blank canvas of possibilities. You are in control of what the finished product looks like. Did you know that? That's just like someone you contact me and you're like about a hex or something like that. Listen, nobody can hex you if you don't want them to. It's just like a vampire in the vampire movies. The vampire can't actually come in unless you invite him in. It's the same thing for that. I had a client that got pissed off at me because I didn't send him a video when I said that I was. But in, in, in accordance to that, when you are burning candles and stuff like that, you have no time period really on when the product will be finished. I did promise him in one day or, or, or a particular day. However, the candle workings was burning so freaking slow, like literally a seven day candle burnt for like six days. It was slow, very slow. So that's stuff I had to work with. Well, he wanted it right now. And I couldn't produce when I told him because I really have no, I really don't have a jurisdiction over that. I mean, that has a lot to do with what's going on, right? So he got so upset with me that he wanted a refund, which there are no refunds. And then he went as far as to call me names. He said that he was a business person and that what I did was not good business. But in the magical world, we really don't control a lot of this stuff. Most spellcasters can tell you, I can tell you I can finish it by Thursday. But if the counter workings aren't finished, then it's not going to happen Thursday. 
Well, anyway, he went to call me names. He said that he cursed me. He said that um, he hoped that I would like be sick and that I was fat. Um, and that he hoped I like be, he cursed me with disease. And this is the same person who sought me out on my YouTube channel. I explained the process to him and everything else. And, and he was emailing me every single day, by the way. And no offense to people that are foreigners or not from America or anything like that. But the understand the, the language barrier that could have been a reason why. I could have went there with him and said a whole bunch of stuff about him. And then he said that he was a witch too. But you were hiring me to get rid of your brother's wife. Which is something that you probably don't have anything to do with. That's not your relationship. It's your brother's relationship. But I said that I would help you. If you were a witch, why the hell didn't you do it yourself? Why would you pay somebody else? That's number one. And then number two, because I didn't do it as fast as you wanted me to, you know, you want to cause problems and wish stuff upon me, which is really dangerous to do, by the way, because I'm happy, but I could be a bitch too. Okay. But anyway, my point is, he said all of this stuff and he was like sending me videos of like he conjuring spirits, which I didn't see shit, but whatever. Right. And he probably is going to watch this video, too, and leave it dirty comments. And I don't give a shit because I reversed everything that you said anyway. So it don't really matter. But the point is, if you believe if I believed what that man said, that would really like mess my mind up. I would be like, oh my God, somebody encouraged me. I need to work on it. But that's not how it works. I don't accept stuff like that. And you guys shouldn't either. Because at the end of the day, I didn't have a bad intent. My, I did send him pictures and stuff where I had started to work, but it just wasn't finished. And everybody knows that does spell work or who has ever done spell work. Everything is about timing. You can't just do stuff because you want to. Things have to align. That applies to the law of attraction, okay? Is the attraction real? Hell yeah. If you don't want like something in your picture, change it. Life is a blank canvas of possibilities. I cannot stop saying this to you guys because it is. Law of attraction really is simple. There are no catches to it. All laws of nature are completely perfect, and the law of attraction is no exception. No matter what you're looking to have, no matter what you're looking to achieve in this life, if you can hold on to the idea, see it for yourself, in your mind's eye, you can make it yours to have with some effort on your part. How do you let go of the negativity, right? Because that's the most challenging part. How do you let go? You have to realize that, that sometimes you have to swallow a bitter pill. Especially if you feel a certain way about somebody, they don't feel that way about you back, whatever the case may be. But there's a renewed hope that you can always change and manifest. If it didn't work out with that guy, that's fine. Then bring on the law of attraction where you can, you can bring on people that will come into your life that will be positive, that will love you, that will see you for who you are, not who you want them to be, right? That's the law of attraction. All quantum physics law of attraction bring you one step closer to your dreams. Allow that. The, the, the work of quantum physics during recent years has helped to shine a greater light on the incredible impact that the power of the mind has on our lives and the universe in general. The more that this idea is explored by scientists and great thinkers alike, the greater an understanding we have on just how significant the role that the mind plays in shaping our lives and the worlds around us. So um, I decided to do, I'm going to give you like some steps to help you with the law of attraction. And I apologize for this video being long, but I really want to help you guys. I love empowering people to do it yourself. I love empowering people. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. You can do anything you set your mind to. You can have whatever you want. Sometimes even in person too. <laughs> so the first thing, this is like a 10 second summary. You're going to relax your mind and I want you to try to meditate for five to 10 minutes a day. That's going to be hard for some people. So sometimes you can like take this phone and I will focus all my attention on this phone. Don't blow your phone up because I've done it like three times in this year. I've had three phones. Focus your energy on this phone. Focus your intent or get a candle. Get a candle. Focus on the flame. That could be your meditation. All you're doing is trying to focus on that flame, nothing else. Know exactly what you want. Have a clear and detailed image. That will help you. Write it down. Erica Badu said it the best. 
put that shit on paper and watch it start. Watch that idea manifest. I'm paraphrasing. Send the universe a mental picture of what you want. Do a, they have those, you can do like a, um, what do they call it? It's like a collage where you do like a, a something board, a future board. I can't think of the name of shit, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Put it down in, in, in below. <laughs> what am I talking about? You can make a board. Um, write, write it down and feel it happening to you. Show gratitude by recording all the things that the universe has given you. Show gratitude to your ancestors for thanking them for allowing you to have those thoughts. Be patient, most importantly, and trust the universe. I am so serious. Step one, relax your mind. Meditate for five to ten minutes. Doing this will increase the brain power and have your mind in a relaxed state. This step is optional, but I recommend it. Step two, be sure about what you want and decide to not doubt yourself. Remember that you're sending the request to the universe, which is created by your thoughts and therefore respond to your thoughts. Know exactly what it is, what you want. If you're not clear, not sure, then the universe will get an unclear frequency and will send you unwanted results. So be sure this is something that you have a strong enthusiasm for. Again, this goes back to why y'all spells don't work. Okay. Um, number three, ask the universe for it. Make the request. Send a picture of what you want the universe to do. The universe will answer. See things as, they, as they're already yours. Speak it as if it's already yours. You don't say, I wish and I desire and I want. You say, I am going to have. I do deserve this. I am worthy of this. See the difference? See yourself like visualizing. The more details you vision, the better. Um, if that person you have a crush on, See yourself walking with them, talking to them, touching them, caressing them, kissing a person. You get the idea. Um, the next step is write down what you want. Start with, I am so happy and grateful now that. And then finish the sentence or the paragraph with telling the universe what it is you want. Write it down in present tense as if you have it right now. Avoid neg negative terms. And every day, talk to it until, you're, until it comes true. Close your eyes. Imagine it. The desires as if it's happening to you. You can do this. You can do it. I'm telling you, you can. Feel it. Feel the way. Feel it the way you are receiving it. Feel it. What does it give you? Does it give you chill bumps? Feel it. You must act and speak and think as if you are receiving it now. The, this is actually the most important and powerful step. Using the law of attraction because this is where it starts working. And sometimes if you don't feel it, you need and you need it, you're like, I'm sorry, I just get so passionate about it. Like, feel it as if you already have it. Therefore, the universe will manifest this thought and feeling and you will receive it. Show gratitude. What did I say? Write it down. Write down all the things that the universe has given to you. I have three things that I say every morning. I have a ritual and I say three things to the God and goddess. I say Thank you for waking me up this morning. I'm grateful for that. Thank you that I'm in my right mind. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you that I still have my gift and I feel it getting stronger every day. Thank you for that. Just saying that alone is immaculate and great and awesome and all these great things. Paying the universe back with some gratitude will motivate the universe to do even more things and will draw more things into your life. If you're the type of person, like I said, if you're the type of person that was once bullied, and then the person stopped. Well, that's something to be thankful for. If, if somebody hurt you and you were able to get out of that situation and move on, that's something to be thankful for. You should thank the universe for everything. Gratitude, it works. <laughs> and then trust the universe. Like imagine an alternate dimension that is almost like the real world. But whatever you truly desire comes to you in an instant. See yourself in that dimension. Whatever you ask the universe, it will come to you quickly in that dimension. Don't look for what you ask for. This is where people tend to mess up. If you have to keep an eye out for the events to manifest that you wish, it's only telling the universe that you don't have it and you won't attract it either. Be patient. Don't get upset when things don't happen immediately. Okay? Don't do that. Don't stress on how things. Let the universe do it for you. When you take the universe's job of worrying about how, then this says you lack faith and you're telling the universe what to do when the universe has a far greater knowledge and power than any mankind or a humankind or human mankind. That's my video on the law of attraction. I hope you guys get it. Watch this video twice. 
please leave me a comment, subscribe, share this video. Um, tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about me. Tell me if you think that I'm helping you or I'm not. I am not above reproach, guys. I am not above criticism either. I know at the end of the day, I'm not going to make everybody happy, and that's fine. I know at the end of the day, some people would not get me. That's fine. But let me tell you something. One thing I believe in, I believe in always being fair, always having great intentions, and always doing good work. Because at the end of the day, what comes out of your mouth is the only thing that will last. I love you guys. You can find me on Facebook. I have an infinite energy group. That's the name of it. You can also check out my website at www.magicalladyduchess.com. And that's M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L, ladyduchess.com. Or you can email me for worker readings or tarot cards or whatever the case may be. I will help you do it all. You can reach me by email at magicalladyduchess at gmail.com. That's M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L ladyduchess at gmail.com. I want to thank you guys for this opportunity and I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Bye and I love you infinitely. Blessed be.